Wonder the Arch Sports. My name is David Woldingen, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Blues hockey. However, before we do, please remember to hit the subscribe button for our YouTube channel, check out our Facebook page and Instagram page. Uh, now, as we begin, I want to I want to say it's been a little bit since we did our last Blues video. I, I want to say it was early February. Uh, since then, uh, starting on February 12th, specifically, the Blues went on a seven-game point streak. Uh, winning six out of seven while taking a point in overtime, even though they lost, uh, to continue that seven-game point streak, which is really helpful and good, especially in the Western Conference, as it's been a dogfight uh, for everybody outside of the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, currently, the Blues are in second place um, with a four-game or a four-point lead over Minnesota who's tied with Dallas for third place and then Nashville. And, of course, those standings can change as the teams continue to play. Uh, So by the time you watch this video, those standings might have already changed. Uh, Getting into that in a little bit, however, uh, coming into March, the Blues played three games uh, against Eastern Conference uh, foes, and they lost all three of them. Uh, The last one on Sunday, March 6th, they ended up losing in overtime. Uh, so they at least got a point out of it to New, uh, against New Jersey. Uh, they open up a two-game home, uh, home stand against Ottawa and uh, New York this week. So hopefully they can right the ship and get things going on the right track again at home. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how they play. Um, they haven't been playing terrible hockey, but they haven't really been playing – the best hockey either so hopefully they can uh catch their breath now that they're back at home and get things on the right track um some things to talk about bennington was in a serious slump for quite a while actually um during during that point streak uh they started getting them in i believe he played three games uh within the last two weeks now and he had a shutout, a one-goal win, and then uh, I believe it was a two-goal loss. Um, he, he's on the right track. And, and if the Blues are going to do anything to, or even trying to consider a playoff run, they need him right, and they need him getting you going. So while he and Huso appear to be switching places every other game right now, now that he's starting to get things going a little bit again, uh, it's only a benefit for the Blues if he really gets things turned back to where he was a couple of years ago. Uh, so hopefully he can get things on track. Uh, moving on, as I was saying earlier in the standings, the Blues are second behind Colorado. The point difference is pretty substantial. It's a 14-point difference. Right now, the Avalanche have 85, the Blues have 71. And again, this is at the time of filming this video, so that could easily change. Uh, basically what that tells me, the Blues are playing for second place. You, you want to hold on to that. They really can't afford these losses anymore. They really need to start picking up some wins. Otherwise, they can find themselves falling in the standings. Um, the Blues have a really talented forward base. Uh, so something to keep an eye on with uh, the trade deadline coming up on March 21st. Uh, what is Doug Armstrong going to do? most likely he's going to go out and try to get another defenseman. You could you could go about this a couple other ways, but with the depth of the forwards, um, the easiest thing to do would be trading one of those. Now, as I talk about that, uh, that brings the question of Vladimir Tarasenko, the big one in the room. Uh, in the offseason, for those of you who weren't aware, he asked for a trade. The Blues never found a suitable uh, partner for that trade. Since then, he's started to play a lot better. In fact, right now, he's a point leader for the team. So with him getting back into form and the team playing well for the most part, I mean, they have their ups and downs like any hockey team, but they're on a run and they could easily make a push for the cup if they keep playing the way they are, especially if Bennington's back to form and they get another strong defender. Um this team really could make a run with how deep they are uh, with our forwards. Uh, the question is, does Vladdy still want to stay 
or is Dumb Ar- with him playing as well as he is, is Doug Armstrong going to find a way to trade him for a top defender uh, to really put the Blues over the edge? Now, if he wants to go, I understand why Armstrong is going to trade him. There's only one year left on his contract. Uh, it's got to play it out if he doesn't get traded. Uh, and you're most likely not going to sign him again if he's really wanting into St. Louis. However, if he's changed his mind, he's playing well, it appears that there's no ill will with, towards the team. He's doing everything right for the team. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get traded. Uh, Doug Armstrong had an interview with Channel 5 on February the 24th, and the question actually was asked about Vladdy and if there's a possibility of him getting traded at the deadline. Basically, he came out and said uh, he's talked with Vladdy, he's talked with the agents. Um, at this time, Vladdy's happy where he is, uh, and the team's happy with his production going on right and and his gelling with the team. So what that basically tells me, um, and he said if there is going to be any decision that's behind closed doors, and he didn't leak anything. So uh, kind of what I read on that is Vladdy's happy right now. Uh, Because he's happy, I don't see the team trading him. Uh, At the same time, you have to find a suitor because his contract is a large contract. However, you have guys like Jordan Cairo. Now I don't think the Blues are going to trade him. Uh, but you, you have a multitude of forwards, a plethora of forwards, if you will, They they could easily put a package together to get a decent to solid defender, if not elite defender, uh, if they really wanted one to make this playoff push. So I know Doug Armstrong has his work cut out with them. Uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see the moves he makes, uh, especially with the whole idea that Vladdy still may or may not want to be traded. Personally, I don't think he's going to get traded. I don't think a lot of teams want to take on that contract or have the ability to unless the Blues get a top defender. And I don't know how willing uh, some of these teams are going to be to give up a top defender, uh, especially to a team who has a chance to go on a playoff run. Uh, Other than that, the biggest key – for this run is the Blues need to get their goalies going, both of them. Uh, Huso has been struggling. I wouldn't say struggling, but he hasn't been as sharp as he could uh, has been in a while. Uh, Bennington starting to get back to form if he continues that progress. Um, I kind of like what the Blues have been doing the last four or five games and just roting, rotating every other game. They have plenty of rest. Uh, there's a couple of back-to-backs coming up. Kind of like this weekend was a back-to-back, which is why they rotated. Um, if they both are playing good, uh, most playoff teams who go deep in the cup have two goalies. Uh, part of that is because in the season, they're able to give each other breaks. Uh, Huso's no slouch. He's won 13 games, only lost three or four. Uh, so he's holding his own as well. Um it, like I said, if the Blues get a defensive player, a top-end defensive player, no less, uh, I think that will be the thing that will push them over the edge and have them have a shot at going deep. Uh, the elephant in the room, I guess, in the conference would be Colorado. They're just running away with things. Uh, they're sitting in 40 wins, 11 losses. That's eight more wins than the Blues or any other team in the conference. So at this point, I think it's safe to say you could concede the number one seed to the Avalanche. The Blues can settle for the number two seed. Uh, Again, they have to keep winning. They can't have these stumbling games against lesser opponents uh, in the Eastern Conference. Uh, If they keep doing that, they can find themselves dropping to the third or fourth position in the conference, and you don't want to do that. especially because Minnesota and Dallas are not slouches either. And then right behind them, Nashville's creeping along too. So you got a real bunched up two through five right there fighting for that number two playoff slot. So the Blues need every advantage they can get right now. Um, It's going to be a fun march, guys. Uh, One other important uh, notice or information uh, for all games from here on out until there's another notice. 
Um, no masks or vaccines are required for anybody. So those of you who are holding off because they didn't want to get a negative result or they don't have vaccine cards, um, the Enterprise Center is open for business. Again, they dropped all the policies. Again, for everybody, stay safe. Uh, do what you need to do to protect yourself and go enjoy a blues game. Uh, I know I will. Anyway, this is Under the Art Sports. Uh, hopefully, the Blues will go on another tear like they did in February and maybe catch up to the Avalanche. I don't think they will, but let's watch. And if they do, it'll be a whole lot of fun. Thank you for uh, watching. I'll talk to you soon.